Today's math lesson is missing numbers in subtraction. As we look at missing numbers in subtraction, I want you to think subtract down, add up. For example, if the math problem were 14, take away missing number equals 6. When you look at this problem going down, you say to yourself, 14 subtract what is 6? But if you'd like to do it in an addition format, you look at the problem going up. 6 add what equals 14. Pretty simple. Another thing you can do to help yourself in missing number problems is you always can use model drawing. Remember, we draw a long unit bar to represent the largest number in the problem. So in this problem, the largest number will be what class? You got it, 14. And then you chunk out that unit bar to show what parts are going to make 14. Remember, when we're going up, we can say 6 add what equals 14. So we're going to put a 6 here added to missing number is 14. Now it's your job to figure it out any way you like using any math computation you like but this will help you organize it so that you understand what we're looking at to get that, that missing number. Let's do a few more practices. What if the missing number were on the top instead of in the middle of that equation? This time we're going to say n subtract 5 equals 17. We still use our same strategies. When we're going down, we say it is a subtraction. What subtract 5 equals 17? And when we're going up, we say it as an addition. 17 plus 5 equals n. Some people prefer addition over subtraction. Sometimes their brains can just do it faster that way. Let's make some unit bars. Remember, we're going to say that this largest unit needs to be the largest number in our problem. And if I add 17 to 5, I believe this is going to be my largest number. So the missing number this time goes down there. And I can say 17 plus what? I'm sorry, 17 plus 5 equals what? So today when you're doing your missing number problems, I just like you to try and remember the subtract down or the add up ways of being able to help you remember how to work that problem out. How about if we do just one more that's a little more difficult? Let's see, how about 32 subtract n equals 14. Let's say it both ways. 32 subtract what is 14? Or 14 plus what equals 32? I really like these model drawings. I think it helps my brain sort and organize the information. If it helps you, be sure to use them. The longest unit bar is going to be the largest number in this problem, which for us today is 32. We're starting out with 32, and we're taking away we don't know how much, but let's say the addition way 14 plus missing number equals 32. You can solve this any way you'd like. I think I'm going to do it in a subtraction format today, but I'm going to do expanded form. I'm going to say 30 and 2 subtract 14 I'm sorry, that's not expanded. A 10 and a 4. So 30 subtract 10 is 20. But when I do 2 subtract 4, I'm going to get a negative 2, aren't I? When I take a look at 20 and negative 2, I know I have 18. Let's plug 18 in here and see if that works. 14 plus 18 equals 32. So I now know that n is going to equal 18. 
Now I'm going to write four problems down that I'd like you to do for practice. After you do these four, or after you see these four problems, I'd like you to pause the video and solve them on your own. When you get done solving them, press play and we'll see how you did. Here are your four problems today. Please, like I said, get out a piece of scratch paper, pause this video, and use the subtract down, add up wording, and or use model drawing to solve these problems. When you're done solving, we're ready to tell you the answers. But before I tell you the answers, I'd like to let you know that today's secret word is flag. Flag is your secret word. In our first problem, n equals 19, missing number minus 35, n equals 47, n missing number, subtract 47, the missing number is 62, and n subtract missing number equals 12, the answer is 17. Now that you're done with this lesson, you may move on to your homework. Make sure you check the calendar and complete your written practice for today. Have a great day, and remember, the secret word is flag.